talking big, get out my way, little bit. Way, little I can't hear the hate, got a lot of it. Take these bands to the bank, let them rot in it. So much ice on me, I wish I had two necks. I got homies that can sleep without two. I got homies that can sleep without. Gucci and Chanel, I got a lot of it. Walk up in the spot like, hey, what poppin' in? Gon' pop it for me, cause I'm rich and poppin' in. Yeah. Drill. Little bit, little bit. Uh. Let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. She gon' put it on me, that's a lot of it. Four coops, four seasons, drop the top of it. Bust down, but my wrist, time to talk a lot of I got both my girls head to toe designer. Designer. Drill. The NFL on EA Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. It can certainly get loud inside this building. And just a few moments ago when the Vikings were introduced, it was downright shaking in here. They're set for football as the Vikings get ready to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. Fielded near the back of the end zone. Stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24 yard line. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. First and 10. They run. Caught. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Brought Matt Judon there to bring him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be a third and about 13. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Complete Jefferson the target. And getting this chest shy of midfield. They'll spot him at the 49. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. From the gun, here's Cousins. Complete physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Back to the ground, Cook. And across midfield, he goes into Raven territory. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Yellow, yellow, yellow. <laughs> Here's Cousins. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. And he 
takes it across midfield to the 45. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And a nice little start as he's able to get this up to the 28. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. they will try to continue that trend here this afternoon. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Buying time to his left. He'll try and run it. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. 24 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. But even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. How many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he's caught right at the 10-yard line. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 12. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. From a yard out. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game. Ground and pass. And I don't care how we're playing the game, these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. From the gun, Jackson. Dancing to his left. He can run for it. And look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at 
the 48-yard line. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker, CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. Side taken in here to start this drive. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside. The 25. First and 10 at the 24 yard line. about five first and 15. Cousins. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. On second and 15 now, Cousins. And did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. On the pickup. It's now third and three. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown Vikings. Adam Thielen there to make the grab. And the Vikings have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Dan Bailey to kick off for Minnesota. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Turn as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 29 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no no. <laughs> Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz clock and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And this is taken in at the five. And all the way in for a Raven 
Jones, touchdown. Touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 54 yards. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Tucker now to add the point after. And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Now KJ Osborne. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. KJ Osborne on the return. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 33 yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Cousins to throw it. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. They got it run across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Cousins on first down. This one brought in by Jefferson. And they have a first down and well into field goal range also at the Sins team now. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 at the 16-yard line. From the red zone now, Cousins. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kirk Cousins on the connection to Justin Jefferson. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Makes the score, Vikings 21, Ravens 13. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. It's complete to Brown, right side. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Brings up second and four at the 45-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Jackson from the shotgun. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, it's an even 15-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon.
Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. set at the line for this next drive and fortunate to get points on the board last time they had to hit a really long field goal to do so the kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted and we can't do that that's a long field goal that they got three points out of they've got to feel good about that and they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out yeah now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board we'll see and they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47 well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. 47-yard line. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Play action. It's Jackson. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. Fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. That's to his running back, complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And tough sledding. You'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carry the ball every time. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, 36 yards. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. To throw is Jackson. From the gun, he'll throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it'll stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early. But in this case, I understand why. You know, if you kick an extra point, you're just up two, yeah. right? So a field goal still puts the other team ahead. So you go for two here and protect the field goal lead. They didn't get it done, though. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The Vikings take over. Then 10 at their own 25 yard line. Yeah. 
The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Calais Campbell fighting his way home for the sack. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. And he finds Cook. And he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But just a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed as that'll give them a first. Cousins gives way to Cook. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 31 yards there and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. And we've got a dandy here, a one-point game as we begin the fourth. From the 22, Cousins. This will caught right around the six. And all the way down inside the five to the four. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Throwing again on second down. Cousins. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And a good turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. They'll go again with Dobbins. Able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So 
So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Edwards now on first and 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second down, a run with Dobbins. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he's on here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stay in talk quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Second down, Dalvins, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. First down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. He's going to keep it. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Now a first carry for their fullback. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. And to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay 